Hi everyone, that little shutter noise lets me know that we are now live. This is episode 107 of Smug Mug Live, streamed live on Tuesday the 28th of September 2021. Thank you so much for joining us today, wherever you are in the world. I can see lots of you in that chat window already. Uh, letting me know what part of the world you are joining us from. My name is Alistair Jolly. I'm the host of Smug Mug Live. I'm also global brand manager for Flickr and for Smug Mug. And we have a very, very special episode of Smug Mug Live today when we will be announcing the winners of our World Photography Day competition 2021. Really exciting to see so many of you in there uh, in that chat window. If you haven't already, get in that chat window. Let us know what part of the world you are joining us from. It's always nice to see you in there. As always, Smug Mug Live is brought to you by Smug Mug and by Flickr. Um, if you're looking for somewhere to showcase your images to the world, store your images in the cloud and have an incredible e-commerce solution to sell images to your clients and customers, then please check out everything we have to offer here at smugmug.com. Or if you are looking to be part of one of the most passionate communities on the planet, then please check out all the incredible things revolving around the community of photographers that is flickr.com. Um, thank you so much. There's there's uh, some interesting uh, conversation going on there in the chat window. Some funny comments already. Thank you to those of you who have already given us a thumbs up. Um, you can do me a huge favor by doing a few things. If you're first time watching us here on YouTube on Smug Mug Live, then hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell notification, that way you'll be notified whenever we have a new show here. Uh, typically we stream weekly on Smug Mug Live, lots of inspiring motivational guests and things like this with our competitions. Um, and if you're enjoying the show, give it a thumbs up. That would be great. So we have a wonderful, wonderful show for you today, all about World Photography Day 2021 on uh, on the Flickr group. So let's head over to this page here. You'll hopefully you're all joining because you're eager to see who has won uh, the competition and who has won the prizes. So this is our group, uh, World Photography Day Contest 2021 group over on Flickr. Um, the competition ran from August uh, 17th uh, and finished just at the start of September, uh, September the 7th. Over 14,000 of you joined that channel, nearly 14,500 of you joined that, sorry, not that channel, that group uh, on Flickr. And you know, you submitted over 33,000 photographs. That is why it has taken us several weeks to go through all those images with the judging panel and get to our final uh, winners and selections that we have to showcase to you today. So thank you for bearing with us while we went through all those amazing images. But more importantly, thank you so much for taking the time to join that group and upload those images. Um, boy, there's people from all over the world in this group. Um, I'm not going to be able to, to obviously go through Everybody who's joining, there's hundreds and hundreds of you in there, but there's people from Poland, Brazil, the US, the UK, Romania, France, oh my goodness, the Netherlands, uh, Vancouver Island in Canada, Russia, St. Petersburg, uh, my goodness, uh, some incredible parts of the world being um, presented, represented by some of you in that chat window. So thank you so much for joining today. So we had four categories for the competition, um, four categories that you could enter your images by tagging those images uh, in the group uh, with the appropriate Flickr tag. We had uh, a nature category, an animals category, people's category and objects category. So I'm going to go through all four categories today. Um, each of those categories uh, will have a winner who will receive a prize as well as two runners up for each category. And then uh, we will have uh, an overall winner uh, from uh, all of those images. Um, Michael asks here, how do you go through all of those photos? Uh, a lot of time and patience. We literally look through uh, every single one of those uh, images. Michael, there's a panel of us here. Uh, made up of photographers and community members here at Flickr and we went through all those photographs and you know created a short list and then had a, 
a bit of a battle together to get it down to our uh, final selection. So yeah, it was a it was a huge a huge project getting that done. Uh, but what a wonderful treat it was. So thank you for doing that. Um, not only is there the option of win, you know the the kudos of winning the categories, but there's also some prizes today, which is really exciting. Um, we've really been uh, supported by some of our friends in the industry. So let me just uh, get this right. So each category winner um, will receive uh, a license to Luminar brought uh, to you by our friends over at, uh, at Skylum. Uh, so Skylum will be providing uh, a Luminar AI uh, prize to um, each category winner. Uh, as well as that, the category winner uh, we'll also get a prize from our dear, dear friends over at Peak Design, um, wonderful uh, company and, and longtime friends of us here. So each category winner will also get uh, a slide a camera strap from Peak Design. And the two runners up of each category will receive uh, a Flickr Pro account. Uh, for a year so the couple of runners up there which uh, got some some great mentions from the judges will also receive a prize of a Flickr Pro account and then there will be one overall winner who will also receive um, a two seat license to Luminar AI as well as one year Luminar, Luminar X membership and a copy of Aurora HDR all from our friends again over at, at Skylum the overall winner will also get uh, oh, an incredible prize, an everyday backpack from our friends at Peak Design, uh, one of my favourite backpacks uh, that I use on a daily basis. Um, and as well as that, they will get our wonderful grand prize from our dear, dear friends at Fujifilm, who are going to give the overall winner uh, an XE4 kit. Uh, so the camera and the lens uh, will be winging its way to our overall winner which we will reveal at the end of the show so stay tuned uh, to see if you are that lucky person uh, or one of our lucky winners of the categories and good luck to everybody i hope you've really enjoyed um submitting uh images to the to the group that's you know most of what we want to do is have great engagement with fellow photographers and uh, enjoy the the process of entering the competition but Let's see who has won the competition. So uh, let's see, we are going to start with our first category and we're going to start with the nature category today. Um, and our first runner up um, of the nature category was Adi Zetz with the wonderful image called Enoki Taik. Um, which I think is a little bit of a play on the fact there are enoki mushrooms. Uh, so this beautiful fungus shot, um, the panel really, really loved this image and were really taken by um, the quality of the image, the detail that is available throughout this image. Um, the tones and the exposure of the image um, was really, really well handled to, to have such incredible um, balance of exposure across this whole whole image. So um, this was our, our first runner up and a huge congratulations to, to Addy uh, for what is truly, truly a wonderful, wonderful shot. Um, you know, we all really kind of were taken by this and, and spent a lot of time looking at it just because it was, it was so captivating. We see um, a lot of images, as you can imagine, on uh, on Flickr of every genre, um, but this one within that kind of um, macro world, within that world of, of fungi and mushrooms, really stood out um, as an incredible shot. So a uh, huge round of applause uh, to Addy as our first winner, uh, as our first uh, runner-up, sorry, as our uh, prize winner. Uh, so you'll get a, a free year of, of Flickr Pro for... Uh, your runner-up uh, image and our second runner-up in the nature category let me just cue this up is a beautiful shot by uh, Philippe and this is Tormenta in Cabo de Gata uh, which is a storm in Cabo de Gata um, again beautifully dramatic uh, landscape image uh, which so many of the panel uh, picked as one of their favourites straight away. This, you know, combination of such this, you know, this 
beautiful pasture, these beautiful poppies and uh, an incredible scene married together with this hugely dramatic uh, background, which in itself would be uh, an incredible image, uh, just as, as uh, a beautiful storm image. But this, this combination really stood out to us as something quite different that was handled really beautifully uh, and had a, a lot of uh, story to to the image, not just a, a storm image, but you know this beautiful landscape that um, really captivated us from this beautiful poppy field right all the way through the image to this once in a lifetime uh, kind of moment uh, as a as a background there. We captured that lightning beautifully. It's beautifully exposed in the foreground and in the lighting, which is you know, um, quite incredible. So a huge congratulations to Felipe for being our, our second runner up in the nature category. And likewise, you will also get um, a Flickr Pro account for a year as well. So thank you so much for entering that image. Now that brings us to our first category winner. As I said, this winner will, uh, will receive a license to Luminar as well as a, a slide strap from peak design um, and it tr truly I'm going to say this a lot today but it truly was not easy uh, picking any of these images but especially when it came to picking the category winner and the overall there was lots and lots of back and forth um, everybody kind of you know arguing for their favorite but there can be only one winner in each category and I'm delighted to say that the category winner of nature is this beautiful image entitled Bogan by Susan. Um, and this incredible image really was one of those images that straight away spoke to many of the panel as an image that should be considered as one of the top images of the, of the competition. Um, a beautifully captured kind of Milky Way shot, but a very wintry feel to it as well, which a lot of us really enjoyed the the kind of juxtaposition between this beautiful um, star, sk starry sky, Milky Way shot, which we see very often in you know sort of warmer parts of the year, but to marry that with this really, really cold, uh, minimalistic foreground, uh, which is even more emphasised by just this lone tree. Um, really stood out to us all um, and as I say from being that instant image where so many of us thought this really needs to be amongst the, the contenders uh, you know it carried that journey all the way through to being the category winner so uh, Susan I hope you um, enjoy your prizes when you get them but more importantly thank you so much for entering this absolutely incredible image uh, it really is absolutely stunning and so many of us have enjoyed looking at it and congratulations on winning the uh, the nature category of uh, World Photography Day. All right, a little drink before we move on to the next category. Uh, so many comments coming in there uh, congratulating uh, the winner and the runners up. Thank you so much. Um, we will be uh, producing a blog post which will go live later today uh, showcasing all those images and where you can go find them um, so stay tuned for that and go uh, have a look at all these images um, you know in much greater detail than you're going to see here on the live stream um, so yeah go check out these images uh, in the group itself and you can go have a, a real good look at them nice and big on your on your screens um, and really see the quality that people have put into these images and, and thank you all so much for these wonderful comments that you're posting uh, recognizing just how great these images were right moving on to our second category a category we all really looked forward to judging because it's the animals category we're going to talk about next. Uh, we're all huge animal lovers here um, at Smug Mug and Flickr. So, you know, when we have an animal category to look at, you know, we're inundated with some incredible, incredible imagery. So, again, a very, very difficult category to, to judge. There's, uh, like all the category entries, 
there's such a widespread of uh, genres within the one uh, category. Um, you know, it's just so many, many different types of of uh, of images. So it really was quite difficult. And our first runner up in the animals category is this adorable image by Jeanette Ash uh, called Baby Raccoons. Uh, and this was an image that, again, a lot of us just, you know, felt there was something really compelling about the, the you know, the, the beautiful nature of what this image could be. Something that, uh, reading, um, reading the description later, obviously took a lot of patience uh, to, to wait for this moment. And, and also that anticipation and skill of knowing that this image might happen for the photographer. Um, and... Yeah, it, it really spoke to us as, you know, just this really uh, adorable moment. And there's a lots of adorable moments in the, uh, in the, the animal category. Uh, but this one really we felt needed uh, some recognition as an image that we really thought was, uh, was up there with, with the best. So, uh, Jeanette, thank you so much for entering this. And again, as a runner up, you will get a free year of Flickr Pro. Uh, before I move on uh, to the next runner-up, uh, I see a nice comment in the the, ch the channel here, which I'm going to bring up. It's from SG, who I think is, is Suzanne, or Susan, sorry. So Susan, she says, thank you so much. I'm so proud of winning in the nature category beside these amazing pictures. Yeah, thank you so much for entering. Thank you for uh, being here on the, the live stream with us. And uh, I'm really glad you got to, to witness your image coming up as the winner for the nature category. Right, moving on to the next uh, image, which is the second runner up in the animals category. Now within the animals category, there was a lot of images around the genre of uh, portraiture of, of animals. Uh, you know, it's a huge part of the photo industry is, is people getting professional portraits done of their their uh, their best friends, uh, their friends. Uh, so there was a lot of contenders for you know that kind of image that really stood out to us as a beautiful uh, portrait of of someone's beloved pet. But the the next runner up, uh, I'm delighted to see, is uh, an image by Malcolm here, and it's called Jenny Jump Two. Now. This image of what I believe is a pug, uh, you can correct me if, if I don't have the right breed there, but this was one of those images that within this genre of uh, pet photography just uh, just was captured so well. Um, the, the, the motion, the moment that was captured as the, as the dog's jumping over this uh, little... Um, this little fence or whatever it is, uh, you know, the, the timing and the capture of that moment is, is really fantastic. The exposure is really good, you know, we've darkened down the, the foreground so that it's not too distracting. And then we have this beautiful um, kind of background of this, you know, these kind of ray of lights, um, which, you know, is, is just such a beautiful backdrop. But ultimately the expression on this dog's face was just, it just stood out as being this, you know, the, the, the thing that tied all this image together is you have this great moment as it's jumping, you have this beautifully exposed and technically, you know, really great image. And then you have this exposure on the dog that is just, you know, so adorable and, uh, and really quite special. And yeah, as someone says in the chat, OMG, a flying pug is a win-win. It really is. It's just uh, an incredible moment. I'm sure the the owner of this dog absolutely loves this image. Uh, it's hard to tell from the dog's face if, if it's enjoying itself uh, and if, if it loves the image, but we certainly loved it here on the judging panel. Uh, and Malcolm, thank you so much for entering. Congratulations. This really is a, uh, such a, a wonderful, wonderful shot. And for your efforts uh, and as runner up, you will also receive a free year of Flickr Pro. So thank you for that one, uh, Malcolm. And again, go go have another look at that uh, in the group because it really is uh, a, a, an adorable image. It's a, it's a word that's been used uh, in the chat here. Adorable, cute, uh, you know, amazing jump, uh, sublime. So yeah, wonderful shot, Malcolm. Congratulations. Right, that brings us to the winner of the animals category. 
and this image you know really stood out again to us as one an image that um really should be in the in the running as a you know a category winner from the second we saw it um it takes a, a bit of time to realize the the technical nature that's went in, into this uh this image but our winner of the the animal category is this incredible image let me just cue it up here this incredible image by Joris Vector, and it's called Be Sleepover. Uh, Joris, uh, thank you so much. This image, if I zoom in, hopefully uh, everybody loves uh, bees, uh, but this Be Sleepover is just absolutely incredible to, to look at. Um, it's technically so well done. It is sharp everywhere it needs to be sharp. It is... Um, it has a depth of field which is incredibly difficult to capture uh, in macro work like this. Um, and reading the, the details that Joris put into, into this, um, it, it, he's actually stacked, I think, 10 images together to get this really incredibly, um, this rather deep depth of field for macro work so that you can see all the hairs, you know, from the antennas down through the legs onto the stamen of the of the flower itself. Um, so technically this image is incredible. The exposure is handled so, so well, but actually the, the ability to go and find this scene was really what made us all stop and stop and look. Um, you know, we're all used to seeing a bee fly onto a flower and, and run around and try and capture it. But uh, Yoris has, has spent the time finding the right type of flower where yeah, these type of bees gather and then, you know, magically finding three bees sleeping together around the stamen of uh, of this plant. So yours, uh, yeah, congratulations. This is uh, by far one of the, you know, the best animal pictures we saw in the category. And, you know, for your efforts, you have, you know, won those prizes that I mentioned ever as the, the, the category winner for animals. So Yoris, thank you so much. Yeah incredible so go have a look at that um on on the group if you can find that image um it's 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 quite quite special to have a look at that um right so that is two categories down we have two more to go uh before we move on to um the next category um i want to tell you a little bit about something that's happening next week uh for those of you who are maybe not familiar here at, at smug mug and flicker we have a a series of films that we make called Smug Mug Films, um, featuring you know our our heroes and our you know you know favorite photographers in the world, where um, we go to um, you know hang out with these photographers, make these uh, films about their photography, their work, their genre, uh, and bring those films to you to inspire and motivate you and to let you. Uh, have a glimpse into the life of, of other photographers out there. Now, I'm mean, delighted to say that next week we are launching our latest in the series of Smug Mug Films. So next Wednesday, we will be releasing our Smug Mug film featuring Andy Best. And I have a very short trailer that I'd like to play you now, and then we'll move on to our next category. I guess you can say I have a Peter Pan complex. It's not that growing older scares me. It's that I crave new experience. This lifestyle almost forces that. It forces new experience. You're always changing, rediscovering, adapting. It keeps me feeling awake and conscious of everything that happens in my life. I'm Andy Best, and this is my lifestyle. So Andy Best, uh, Living in Long Shadows, will be released uh, here on this uh, YouTube channel next week. So uh, join us for that release and see this uh, wonderful insight into Andy's work. And if you haven't watched any of our Smug Mug films before, you'll find them right here on YouTube uh, under the playlist of Smug Mug Films. And you've got something like nine years worth of Smug Mug Films to go uh, have a look at and be uh, motivated and inspired so before we move on to our next category, I'm delighted that Yoris is joining us in the channel. Uh, Yoris is so honoured, thanks. 
yours, it's us that are honoured. Thank you so much for entering that uh, image into the category and you know, congratulations on such a, a successful image. It really is pretty special indeed. Right, lots of great comments in there. Keep them coming. I'm sure everybody's enjoying the, the chat uh, and I really appreciate you all uh, commenting in there. Right, let's move on to, uh, let's look at my notes here, category three. So the third category we're covering today is the people category. Again, you know, all the, with, you know, 33,000 images uploaded, all the categories were really, really well represented. And, you know, every category had a, a wealth of incredible images, making it a very difficult job for us, but a very enjoyable one. And moving on to a category that I dearly love, uh, the people category. It's a, a category that I really uh, personally love photographing. Uh, so it was really great to um, to look through these. So our first runner up uh, in the people category is an image by Regis uh, Desailly, sorry Regis, uh, and it's entitled 2020 en France, uh, DD 66 on. So um, photographed in France and DD is 66 years of age, uh, according to the title. And if you look at the notes, this is um, a photograph um, depicting the the position of, of DD, who's, you know, been working uh, as a farmer in France since the age of 16 uh, and now is surviving on a very small pension. Um, and I think you've really captured that moment beautifully, Regis. We all really, really loved um, looking at this image and, you know, it's really quite captivating. Technically, it's it's superb. The, the depth of field, the exposure, uh, the lighting is really, really, really incredible. Um, but also the, you know, the exposure, uh, but the color toning as well, just everything really married together to make this, you know, one of our favorite images of the pe people category. It really wanted us to find out more about Regis, uh, um, uh, sorry, about Didi. Um, it made us, you know, have empathy with him um, and, you know, telling stories, um, within photography is one of the most uh, you know special things you can do. And I think when you can tell a story in this single moment, uh, then you've done the job superbly well. And, you know, this really, really spoke to us. And yeah, congratulations on being our first runner up within the people category. Uh, great job, Regis. Um, if you're in the chat, uh, it'd be great to hear from you. Uh, lots of people congratulating you there, but uh, go check out this image. I'm sure you will uh, spend a lot of time on this image as we did just you know taking in the story and uh, learning a little bit more about DD so great job Regis thank you so much for entering that image and our second runner up within the people category let me just cue this one up um, is a, another incredible portrait uh, and this portrait th this image is entitled portrait and it's by Roger Coat. Uh, I'm not quite sure if this is, is a, a self-portrait or um, it's it's just entitled Roger Coat, uh, portrait by of Roger Coat. So um, not quite sure whether the author is also the subject here, but we were, again, really taken by the quality of the exposure in this image. There's a real connection between, you know, the, the subject uh, and the person viewing the image. There's a lot of gain a lot of story and a lot of depth in the expression within the eye of of the subject here um and just the the way that the skin tone is handled the way that the the lighting has been uh, carried out to have you know this um quite um you know quite abrupt uh, drop off to shadow um we we just felt that was within the people category, really uh, captivating uh, and really wanted us to to know more about the subject matter, which I think is one of the best things about photography. If you can make someone look at your image and um, you know discover a story, but want to find out more, um, you know, if you can create um, an emotion within someone looking at your image, then you have done a great job. And this was one of those images that really made the panel you know, sit up and, and, and connect with the image. So Roger, 
Uh, not quite sure where you are in the world, but fantastic image, uh, really magnificent. So thank you for submitting that. And again, as a runner up to the competition, uh, you will get a free year of Flickr Pro. Um, but you know, it was a close call. You could have easily, uh, yourself and Regis could easily have been the winner, but um, congratulations on being our, our second runner up in the people category. Right, thank you to everybody who's still engaging in the chat. Um, that is so good to see you all in there and so good to see you all supporting each other and celebrating the, the winning images with us. Uh, that really is uh, very, very special to see today. So thank you all for doing that. So that brings us to the category winner for people. Um, and this was an image again that, like many of the winners, there was just something that as you're looking through thousands and thousands of images as you're looking through them something stops you and makes you linger on an image um, and instantly kind of puts it in that category of you know this is a real contender and this next image was definitely a contender uh, all the way through and, and ultimately became the the category winner for the for people uh, and this image is called the harpist and it's by mercy haruna uh beautiful beautiful image uh, mercy um it's called the harpist and it's such a beautiful scene that really made us all um kind of want to stop and um take time on this image to to learn a bit more um to in, you know investigate a little bit more about the harp itself but also to to see this little peek into someone's life you know almost that that look behind the curtains quite literally here um, of, of someone's life where you have, you know, family activity going on on the left of the scene with the kids uh, in their little play space uh, while we make the assumption that mom is sitting here, you know, playing the harp or learning the har harp. Um, just a beautiful moment and then the, you know, the the, you know, the remains of everyday life on the table as, you know, the kids have obviously, you know, eaten up all their dinner and then rushed off to play uh, while mum has some, some time to herself. But from a technical standpoint, the balance of all the different lighting in here really stood out to us as well. We have, you know, um, you know, natural lighting and, and artificial lighting in the same image, which is always very difficult to, to capture well and to balance and to, to have uh, an image that, you know, can, can handle both of those well. And so from a technical standpoint, we thought the exposure and the, you know, the, the balance of the, the two forms of lighting was handled superbly. Um, but just, just a beautiful moment, just this moment that I know this family will remember for the rest of their life and now have this beautiful shot to as a souvenir of that moment um, and a very very special moment it is and I'm sure they'll love this for the, the rest of their life I can't wait till you know the kids look back on this and and, and enjoy um, you know that moment that was so innocent and has been captured so beautifully by Mercy so Mercy thank you so much congratulations on winning the the people category you will obviously get those prizes of uh, you know the software and the camera strap um and you know the the congratulations of everybody in the channel who are you know supporting you so well and lots of beautiful comments in there so thank you everybody it really means a lot to us to see you all engaged there in the chat today uh celebrating the winners of these images oh wonderful mercy is in the, the channel as well uh, Mercy says, I am so honoured. Thank you so much for selecting my image. Again, the honour is ours, as I've said before. Mercy, thank you so much for um, for entering uh, that image. Uh, very, very special moment. And, you know, congratulations. And uh, keep capturing moments like that because uh, they mean everything to, to a family when you, when you do that. So, uh, and thank you for being here on the live stream. That's very special to have you here. So congratulations again. Right, that brings us to our final category. Uh, before we announce the overall winner, we have uh, the final category of objects um, to look at. Um, again, uh, you know, as a subject matter of objects, we left it, you know, fairly open to 
to all sorts of inanimate things. And there were so many genres of photography covered within the object category as well. It was, it was fantastic to see how so many of you had interpreted that category theme of an object and had used that as an, opportun an opportunity to uh, kind of showcase your, uh, your passion, your specialism, uh, the type of photography that you love, everything from, from macro to abstract to architecture uh, to still life. Uh, it was all covered within there. So if you haven't yet, go to the group and, you know, just search by that tag within the group and you'll be able to look at all the category contenders, which uh, are absolutely fantastic. So let's start with our first runner up. Uh, again, an image that a lot of the panel just, you know, were saying this this needs to be considered. This is uh, a great image. And the, our first runner up, um, is uh, an image by Jacqueline Tahar called Graphic Living. Uh, Jacqueline, I hope I've pronounced your uh, name correctly. So here we have this architectural shot by Jacqueline called Graphic Living. Uh, it's a great title because obviously it's from that title we can assume that these are some kind of uh, housing, uh, apartments, uh, and obviously the graphic living uh, really speaks to the fact that you've captured such a, you know, abstract uh, kind of graphic uh, interpretation of this scene. So, um, you know, thank you for entering this. We love the, the repetition. Um, we love the pattern within all these image, uh, within all the, the different apartments in this image. Uh, you know, great exposure control where you've got have this really dark, moody um, background uh, of the sky. Um, and you know, very, very direct lighting, um, lighting that not a lot of people would normally try and avoid um, because it is so harsh. But what it's given here is this really dramatic, hard, hard edged shadows, which have obviously added to this uh, graphic element of, of this image. So Jacqueline, thank you so much. Congratulations on being uh, really in the content, you know, in the running for for being one of our favourite images, and and therefore getting a runners up place. Uh, thank you so much for that. Right, let me queue up. We're almost there, folks. Let me queue up the next runner up within um, within the objects categories. This one was one of my one of my real favourites, and and certainly in the running to being um, the, the the category winner, but. Uh, it got pipped to the post, and uh, the, the second runner-up is uh, by a Flickr account called Simple Joy, uh, and it's called A Lot Bottled Up Inside. Um, again, uh, it's a great title because it can be interpreted so many ways. There are a lot of bottles, um, and they are all inside each other. Um, but um, it's just beautifully uh, exposed. Um, you know, we have a lot of... Uh, a lot of lighting, a lot of reflection elements. Uh, we have some great control of color and tone within this image, um, as well as the magic of of how this image was created. You know, we've uh, we have an image here that is is kind of hard to interpret just exactly how um, it was uh, it was produced, but. Um, you know, simple joy, uh, maybe you are a magician and you made, were able to make all this stuff levitate. But yeah, I just really loved it. With with reflected surfaces like this, not only a single object reflective surfaces, but multiple reflective surfaces within each other, it would be so easy to make this, you know, um, this kind of blown out, uh, harsh highlights in certain areas of this image but it, it really just was handled superbly. The, the touch of the shadow on the, on the base of the image just really added to this sense of the, the, you know, the levitation within these bottles. So a very simple subject matter, handled superbly, um, technically excellent, and we really thought this should be uh, you know, uh, rewarded by being a, a runner-up uh, in the in the objects category. So Simple Joy, thank you so much to you as well for entering that image. Uh, it really is pretty cool. So if you're watching, go check that one out because it's it's worth taking a, a closer look at and taking a deep dive into that image and, and check it out. It really is uh, a wonderful image. So that brings us 
to our final category winner, uh, the, the category winner for objects. So our fourth and final category, objects. The overall winner um, really was the image that everybody agreed on very, very quickly. Of all the categories, this was probably one of the images where everybody said, yeah, I really can't argue with that. Uh, being the winner it really is uh, a stunning image so our winner for the objects category is Ahmed Brandt with uh, a photo an image called Art Hotel Cologne this yeah this just is beautiful um, a beautiful beautiful image which as I say we are all instantly gravitated towards as the potential winner of this category um, it has a lot going on in this image and yet is so simplistic in many ways. The colour tones for me were the first thing that stood out. This beautiful palette of um, complementary tones throughout all the curtains and the windows uh, really um, jumped out to us. Um, the fact that all the curtains were closed is just one of those moments that... Um, you know, is, uh, you know, very special when you're trying to take an image like this. So many times you go to a hotel or you go to a subject matter and there's one part that's just not, just not right. Here, all the curtains are closed, all the colours balanced. The sky is just this, again, this beautiful, moody complement to the image. And as I say, simplistic yet very, very complicated uh, and we were all drawn to, drawn to this Achim and, Achim and, you know, really, really, um, you know, just want to congratulate you on, on this beautifully, you know, very technical yet very simple image. Uh, and I would encourage you all to go check out Achim's uh, image in the group. Again, just search for um, the objects tag within the within the pool and you'll find this image it's it stands out when you're looking through all those object images it really does stand out as a beautiful image so Akim Akim sorry if I'm uh, not pronouncing your name correctly but congratulations thank you for entering this and like the rest of our category winners you will uh, receive those prizes of uh, a camera strap and the software the luminar software and we hope you really enjoy those prizes. So thank you to everybody. But we have one category left. We have the overall winner uh, from the for the entire competition. So um, before we get to that, uh, let's check the chat window. Make sure there's nothing I need to to speak to. Um, a couple of a couple of things I want to notify you. Uh, just to build the suspense until we get to that uh, overall winner. Um, we have an, If you've enjoyed entering the competition, um, then it's something that we want to do more of at Flickr. We always enjoy running contests here uh, at Flickr. And we just yesterday launched another contest on Flickr. Very specialist one, this one. Um, for those of you who enjoy Lego, who enjoy building Lego and indeed photographing it. We just launched yesterday the Building Capture Photo Contest in partnership with Lego Official themselves. So there's wonderful um, group that has just been created. Uh, the Lego Build and Capture Photo Contest is you know, supported by us at Flickr, but also supported by the team at Lego. So if that is something you enjoy, that uh, miniature world, that um, you know, building and capturing those stories, then please, please go check out this very new contest. Uh, there's still plenty of time. It runs until the first of November, um, and you know, if you have kids, you have Lego in the house, uh, then go uh, have a go. Um, and there's pr some wonderful Lego prizes to uh, be won in that contest as well. Very exciting. We love a contest. Uh, and then lastly for me, got another special show coming next week. Next Friday, I'm going to be doing a live photo critique with my friends over at the Behind the Shot podcast um, group. Uh, Steve Brazel, who runs Behind the Shot podcast, has this group where he regularly does uh, photo critiques of the images that are uploaded to the group. Um, we've been asked more and more to add uh, some more photo critiques to what we do here on Smug Mug Live. So what better way to do it than to partner with one of our friends or one of our groups who's already on Flickr 
and uh, yeah, check out the details on there. It's pretty simple to enter. Go join the Behind the Shop podcast group. Enter your image if you want the chance of it being critiqued, but add the, the Flickr tag BTS critique to your image when you upload it to the, to the group. Uh, and you will be in contention for having your images uh, critiqued by myself, Steve Brazel and uh, the guest panelist Don Komarechka, all incredible photographers, both Steve and Don. Um, and that show goes out next Friday, which is October the 8th. Uh, and that will be streaming at 1 p.m. Pacific, which is uh, 9 p.m. in the UK, 10 p.m. Central European time. And I guess it's about 6 p.m. Eastern time. So, uh, yeah, join me next uh, next Friday for that live photo critique. It's always fun to have myself and some other panels, you know, critiquing images and, and looking at some great images, talking about maybe what could be improved. Uh, and, uh, yeah, come join us for that and give us your opinion in the chat window. Right, that brings us to the overall winner, who, just to remind you, will... Uh, get um, a backpack from Peak Design. They'll also get this wonderful XE4 camera kit from our friends at Fujifilm um, and the software from our friends at Skylum uh, with the Luminar and Aurora software. So we really should have uh, some way of doing a drum roll here. So hopefully you're all as excited as I am. So let me just... Uh, Make sure I get the right image and cue that up. So I am delighted to let everybody know that for our World Photography Day Contest 2021, our overall winner was the incredible shot by Joris Vector, uh, B Sleepover. Joris, congratulations. Um, an, an incredible image, as I said earlier. All the, all the judging panel were unanimous in saying that of all the images we saw, over 33,000 images. This is the one image where we really thought that is deserving of a grand prize. As I mentioned earlier, the technical aspect of this is exceptionally good. It is exceptional work. 10 images all focus stacked um, to get that incredible depth of field. If you haven't done macro photography before, folks, the you know, depth of field is a real problem. Um, getting close, we can do that now with some incredible lenses, but depth of field is always so shallow. So this this technique of focus stacking so that you add all these different uh, focal points to a, an individual, individual image is just exceptionally well handled here. The exposure, the, the, the color control, but also this moment um, yours where you went and found just this perfectly incredible beautiful little moment of three bees all sleeping together um, maybe drunk on pollen who knows but all sleeping together in this one flower head was you know it was a you know a unanimous decision that we all wanted this to be our overall winner so congratulations again Yoris uh, I know you were in the, in the chat there earlier hopefully you're still with us um, from everybody uh, on the, the team, the community team here at Flickr, thank you so much for entering this image. I've had a look at your um, your page as well. There's some incredible work on Yoris's account, so go check that out. Uh, some other incredible macro photography there. Really does have an expert level of skill when it comes to capturing images of this nature. So that is our competition um, for World Photography Day. Uh, there he is, Joris is in the chat. He says, woo, so excited. Thanks so much, team. Joris, congratulations. Thank you for being here live. That's really, really special that you're here to, to hear yourself as the overall winner. Um, I hope you enjoy the prizes when you get them. Uh, I hope um, you do some cool work with the camera and the backpack and the software that you're getting as part of the prize. But I think the biggest prize is letting this huge audience see the incredible work that you are capable of capturing. And um, yeah, it really should be um, plauded and commended by everybody. 
That is our show, folks. Thank you so much for sticking with me for the last 50 minutes. Uh, lots of images to go through, um, but it really is worth taking the time to celebrate them all and congratulate everybody. Um, you know, better luck next time to those of you who, who didn't feature this time. We will be running more competitions very, very soon. Uh, and obviously we have an opportunity to do a fun one with Lego right at this moment. If you haven't already done so, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button here on YouTube, hit the bell notification. That way you will be notified whenever we do another show here on Smug Mug Live, which is typically weekly. And uh, yeah, hitting that subscribe button really helps support the show and let other people find it. Uh, and give us a thumbs up, hit that thumbs up button if you've enjoyed seeing all these images. It's a great way to celebrate everybody's wins, but we should all celebrate what an incredible pool of images the, that uh, that group now has in there. 33,000 plus images that are worthy of your time to go look at and enjoy. And, you know, that is something to, uh, you know, be proud of. Everybody who entered should be proud of that. So thank you so much for joining me today. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe, be kind, look after each other, and we'll see you back here very soon for another episode of Smug Mug Live. Thank you, everybody. Congratulations. See you very soon. Bye.